Hello and welcome to You Have Control. In today's video we're going to look at how the airspeed indicator works, how the vertical speed indicator works, and how the altimeter works. We're also going to look at what happens when they fail and how they can fail. So without further ado, we're going to look at the difference between static air pressure and dynamic air pressure. If you are standing still, air will be pressing against you equally in all directions. This pressure pushing against you will be static. However, if you start to run, the air pressing against your face will be dynamic air pressure as you are a moving body. On an aircraft, we have two ports to measure both static and dynamic airflow. We have the pitot tube, which as you can imagine, will measure the dynamic airflow and you also have a static port, which in the C-42 is behind the main instrument panel. Let's now look at the internals of our airspeed indicator. What we have is the pitot tube, which intakes the dynamic air pressure, and it compares it with our static air pressure. The impact force is measured, and then the force is put through some calibrated gears and comes out as a value on our airspeed indicator. If the pitot tube is blocked, in other words, the dynamic pressure port is blocked, then we will simply not read any airspeed. It is really important that you check the pitot tube for any blockage, such as small ants or bugs or any dirt before we fly. If, however, the static port is blocked, then things get a bit more interesting. Whilst we are climbing, the airspeed indicator will overread. In a descent, the opposite will happen and the airspeed indicator will underread. Now, the reason this happens is when that static air pressure vent gets blocked, the air pressure stays the same inside the capsule. However, as we climb, the air entering the pitot tube is reducing in air pressure, whereas the opposite is happening as we descend. Our vertical speed indicator is slightly different. The vertical speed indicator measures static air pressure with static air pressure. However, inside the bellows, there is a calibrated leak. So as we climb, the air pressure inside the bellows will have to slowly equalize with the air pressure outside the bellows. Therefore, if the static air pressure valve gets blocked, then the vertical speed indicator will return to zero. An altimeter works by comparing static air pressure to a fixed air pressure inside a bellows. As we climb, this bellows will expand and as we descend, the bellows will contract. This is measured and is put through some calibrated gears and then is displayed on our altimeter. If the static pressure vent gets blocked on the altimeter, then the altimeter will just freeze and it will not display if we are climbing or descending. It will freeze at the value of which it was last at. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or video requests, please leave them down below. Fly safe.